Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. When you sort of fan out into this group, is there anything that comes forward or is there any collective energy that you kind of feel or read uh, when looking over the group, maybe that's a good place to start. Yes, I do. What I feel is they feel like they're not there yet. How come I'm not there mm. yet? You know, it's this not there yet. And so what you want to do is you want to see that archetype that you have that's always moving in a, a place of being um, confined by time. Right? I do this exercise that's about releasing and letting go of the time. You're, you're in time and matter. And so therefore you have this urgency. But what I would ask the group to do is to, to find the part of you. Find that part of you that feels like he or she isn't there yet. How come I'm not there yet? The part of you that has that question and that voice. I should be there already. I should have already. And pull that part of you out. And literally see that part of you, like five feet in front of you. And just as if you were a reporter, report mm. on what that part of you looks like. So I'm not there yet. I should already have this. What does that part look like? And you can profile this part of you. It's a persona that's within you, but it's really a pattern. And so we find that the patterns, when we personify them and we pull them out, we can shift them. So the next thing I would have you do is as you look at that part, you know, maybe this part of you is nervous, but it's always running around, distracting itself with other things, you know, going through email over and over instead of actually focusing in, right? You know that. <laughs> How many times are you checking your email a day? You know, the one that's carrying the phone around is always looking and texting. And, you know, how much time is that one really wasting? And then what I would have you ask is, what's the primary emotion that that one is carrying? Is it fear? Mm. Is it anxiety? Check to see. What's the primary emotion? And when you find the emotion, maybe it is anxiety, where is that anxiety? Is it in the stomach, the power center? Is it in the throat? What does that look like sitting in there? So see, we can go right in and zoom in. Let's say it's in the stomach. What if it showed itself to us as knots in the stomach? Mm. Do you see, it's just fear or anxiety. But it's literally being communicated as a symbol, as an image. Well, why not allow yourself to undo the knots? Send the anxiety down into the center of the earth. Just imagine right now, there's a ball of light in the center of the earth, and it has a magnet in it. And you're literally sending that anxiety and fear down into that ball of light and transmuting it simple as that. And you're going to find that you can breathe into your belly and it opens. But wherever it is in your persona, just check and see. You literally just scan. You just look, sense, feel, or have a knowing. Identify the emotion. Now what you're going to do is transmute that energy, right? However it's showing up, it maybe it's in the throat and it looks like this, you know, big hard rock in your throat. 
with your consciousness, with your attention placed on that, you can literally blast it out. <laughs> you can literally take back your power. So if you find that you have personas that are running you by distracting you or the, you know, with these voices or having you feel bad about yourself, I want you to recognize you can pull them out. You can work with the persona. Now, the next thing that we do is we ask, what is the primary belief? So what is mm. the primary belief of this one? Well, maybe the primary belief of this one that's anxious about time, that thinks I should have had it already, really has a belief of I'm not good enough. I don't know how to do this. I'm just not getting it. So what I want you to do to shift the belief, it's very simple, is that you can imagine literally a chalkboard. And you can imagine writing out in longhand that belief, that old belief on the chalkboard. And we're literally going to erase it from the subconscious mind right now. So I am not good enough, longhand, and erase it, erase it. Erase it from the chalkboard. And then imagine writing it out again, longhand. The reason why we do longhand is the, the hand is directly linked to the subconscious. That's why we can do handwriting analysis, right? So write the new belief, I am a powerful creator. I'm a powerful creator. I'm can taking you do this on a piece of paper? Yeah, you can do it on a piece of paper. You can do it in your mind's eye. The piece of paper is really good, right? Because again, handwriting, when you handwrite out, you're literally reprogramming mm. your subconscious mind. And to do it 30 minutes before bedtime or 30 minutes after you awaken is even more powerful because you're in a natural state of hypnosis, right? You're in that trance state. So you rewrite that belief. And so now you begin seeing, well, okay, how does this persona look? I just shifted the belief. Now the persona is ready for new energy. So you transmuted it all, replace that fear and anxiety in the power center. So how would you like to see the new energy in the power center, maybe like a beautiful golden sun, a warm sun? So imagine mm. a warm sun. And imagine confidence, imagine trust, and bring that into the stomach. And bring it in wherever your persona is carrying it, bring it in. And replace it. Now, what you're going to see is magic right in front of your eyes. That persona will start shifting. It will look differently. And it's amazing when we do this, right, because I say, okay, how's the persona looking? Oh, my God, her head is up high. Her shoulders are back. She has a smile on her face. She's wearing something totally different. Wow. <laughs> You're actually shifting the pattern by shifting the persona. This is the personification, the part of you that fractured off way back when, when some point of pain happened in your life. And you made up the belief, I'm not good enough. I can't get it, whatever that belief was. You fractured off from the divine, and now we're restoring it. You're waking up and you're saying, oh, hey, wait, this has been running me, but I created it way back when for protection, survival, or need to control. Well, well, now you know. You can get on the grid. You can connect in. You're, you're part of the divine universe. You have access to every energy in the entire mm. universe. Let's mm. replace that and start to see the persona. And here's the key. You have to give the persona a new assignment. Remember way back then when that happened? You created out of a need to control, a need to protect, or a need to survive. Now you're connected in. You, you're, you're your higher self basically now. Right? You're getting to that place where you are becoming the embodiment of your higher self. You don't need that control, protection, or survival anymore to that degree. You can just simply tune in to your higher self-intuition. So what is the new assignment you want to give this energy persona that will now align you with your higher intention? And maybe that is every single day I'm going to be 
I'm going to wake up. First thing I'm going to do is get on the grid. I'm going to connect in at my heart space. I'm going to set an intention to be the embodiment of my higher self. I'm going to tune in to that ball of light in the center of the earth. That's my recycling plant. I can send any emotional energy that doesn't serve me down in there and burn it up. And then I'm going to call forth the energies that I choose to live with today. And I want it with clarity, specificity, Mm. and certainty. Clarity, specificity, and certainty. So that persona now is reprogrammed to align you and remind you in a practical way. Hey, you got to ground every day. (laughs) You got to get on the grid and connect in. You know, I mean, we have to make it practical. It's nice to just be like, ooh, I just want to be the embodiment of love. Yes, you are. And what would you like to do to implement that on a daily basis? And then remember, you've got to bring the energy back in and fully integrate that energy. So bring that persona back in as this new, refreshed, aligned being, new program. You've just literally shifted your physical being as you integrate. Imagine a beam of light through your whole body. Everything is shifting and reorienting to this new truth that is you. Everything on all levels, all time, space, realities, all dimensions, all directions, everywhere present through your past timeline, your past life timeline, your genealogical timelines, and all the way back to now, your emotional body, mental body, physical body, spiritual body, chakra system, aura, And all the future possibility and probability lines of old are dismantling themselves. And you have new possibility and probability lines that you're forming and creating. So imagine every single step you take now is divinely guided. You're living a 100% synchronistic life. Good. And coming all the way back down into your body, being fully present all the way back to now. That's how we do it. Hello and welcome. This is Jerry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.